Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another return to video. In this video we are playing the second DLC map in the Call of Duty Ghost Extinction mode. Hopefully we can do well, have some fun. I am going to be playing this on regular because as you guys saw from my previous Extinction video on Point of Contact, it was very very easy with the current loadout that I have for my classes. So. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, there is a cutscene that I don't know if I'll show in this video or not. I probably will. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens when we jump into this. But anyways, this is DLC 1 and the map is called Nightfall. This is the snowy version or the snowy map, pardon me, of Extinction Mode. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. My loadout is a tank, of course, the MP443 Grotch Pistol, Armor Piercing Ammo, Random Supplies, Sentry Gun. Actually, instead of that, I'm going to do... Uh, light armor with team booster that speeds up weapon handling I'm gonna do feral instincts because this was really really good in my previous video and what should I do for this grenade launcher death machine sentry gun vulture okay yeah this looks like a good loadout so yep let's go ahead and jump into the DLC one of Call of Duty Ghost extinction mode all right, guys. So welcome into the map. There's a little. There's going to be a little bit of a cut between the first playthrough and this one because I decided I decided that I wanted to play on regular, and it was so difficult. Not that I want it to be easy, but I want to try and complete the map because that would be pretty fun. So that is why I'm now playing on regular or casual. Sorry. Once again, I'm playing on casual, just just so that it's a little bit more chilled, a little bit more chilled out, and we have the some higher odds of completing it. Because so honestly, playing this solo is so difficult, unless you're just a god. Pardon me, at extinction, which I'm not obviously, but even then, it's really difficult because playing this solo is a challenge for sure. Because there is a lot of stuff going on. I mean, you have people. I mean, if you're if I was playing with four people, I'd have people defending my back, I'd have people defending my front, and you know, dropping armor, dropping feral instincts down, dropping ammo. Because I'm not the I wouldn't be the only one getting money, but because I'm the only one getting money when I'm playing solo, it can get really really difficult. Which is why I'm playing on casual when I play solo, just because it's really 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 difficult without it. So that that's why there's going to be a little bit of a cut between the first the first kind of initial playthrough and then this one because yeah I, I got destroyed I made it to the first area got to the boss but the boss just overtook me and it, it was just way too difficult so and the point basically the point of this extinction return to extinction series is to try and get as far as we can and I'm not gonna be happy with just getting to the first area only so cuz I don't want to waste your guys time you know I want it to be a nice long-ish series for you guys to watch so that it's not you know it's not super super short and then all of a sudden you know yeah I, I just like them being a little bit longer is all so I'm gonna kill that guy I take that person out and now we can go ahead and upgrade some things so I'm going to upgrade tank and I'm going to upgrade my pistola. There we go. Per <clears throat> perfect. So now I'm gonna head over to this top hive up here. Cause there's a little bit of an Easter egg up here. Okay, I guess I can't go up that way. When I have the hive in my hands, so let me go around, go up the stairs here, and then we'll go ahead and unlock it. So but yeah, that, that's the thing about Extinction is that it's really, really difficult to play solo unless you're playing casual or you just have played the map so much that they're just natural to you. And they're not natural to me. I think I've played them a total of maybe five times. And I'm talking about, well, I've, yeah, I've probably played Nightfall maybe three to three to five times. I can't remember the exact number, but I've, pl I've played it quite a bit over the... Uh, over the over the years of since Call of Duty Ghost came out, but yeah, in all reality, I've played a lot more zombies, so I'm a little bit better at zombies than Extinction. Plus, the only reason I haven't played more Extinction is because it's a very so non-soloable mode. If that makes any sense, 
Kind of like Modern Warfare Survival. I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2019 Survival. Not Modern Warfare uh, 2011. Not Modern Warfare 2011 Survival. Because Modern Warfare 2011 Survival or Modern Warfare 3 Survival is so much easier. And it, well, not not easier, but just more soloable. I mean, I tried making videos on survival in Modern Warfare 2019, and it is insanely difficult. Like, I was, I got demolished, and it was just really, really difficult. So, yeah, that's that's the problem with Spec Ops in Modern Warfare. Speaking of Modern Warfare, we are getting the Battle Royale mode in that game tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to try that out. I probably will try it off, try it out off YouTube just to try it out because I have a feeling that I won't like it very much. Only because I'm not really a Battle Royale player. I'm more I'm more like the multiplayer thing. I I love multiplayer and, you know, other things like that. Because the thing about Battle Royales is that they take so much time. You have to just sit and play them for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Or people will just get so much better than you. And it kind of sucks when that happens. But I'll, I'll give it a try. But I don't know if I'll make any videos on it yet. I have to really, really like it to want to make videos on it. Just because of the fact that, well, as you guys know, I have not really been enjoying... Modern Warfare too much, so we'll see. It's coming out tomorrow for those of you guys who don't know, and I'll give it a go for sure. I'm gonna pick up the LSAT as well. I was using the Maverick, but I think the LSAT is a much, much better idea. Go away. Go away. Bad, bad alien. Bad alien. It was a big purchase, but it was worth it. 100%. 100%. I'm not actually gonna destroy this hive. This is a pretty good hive, so we're already going pretty quickly through this compared to the first run. In a matter of less than 10 minutes, we're already to hive 3, and it took me 16 minutes to get to hive 3 in the last playthrough, so that's pretty good. Obviously, it's going to be a lot easier when you aren't getting swarmed by, by aliens that do a lot more damage than in casual. So yeah, I mean, probably for the rest of this series, you'll be seeing me not play casual or not play regular because, or you'll see me play regular because, <clears throat> geez, man, I can't even talk. I apologize. You won't see me be playing casual or regular. I mean, you won't see me be playing regular for probably the entire rest of this little mini series of us going back and playing extinction maps because, because it is extremely difficult crap my accuracy isn't above 50 wow that was some horrible aim assist wow jeez okay i need to kill i need to kill or land one bullet on a zombie <laughs> alien jeez i can't talk i apologize i am like all over the place today can you stop jumping around like that frick's sake There we go, 50%. I'm going to knife the rest. It's tough. It is so tough with the shot accuracy thing. And then we have people, zombies. Ugh, come on. You have aliens like this. The guys that go invisible. That are really, really difficult to kill. Come on. Quit, quit going invisible and challenge me. There we go. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Thousand dollars. Is that it? Yep, just about. There we go. That is it. Now, do we have any more hives to, to get? Or are we going to get into the boss battle? I think we're gonna get into the boss battle here after one more hive yeah we have to destroy this hive over here as well so it looks like you have to destroy every hive in this area and then we'll get to a boss battle but this pass this boss battle is craziness it's 
pretty damn insane. I'm actually going to uh, buy the electric fence. Then I'm going to place my turret here. There we go. And that should take care of aliens, I think. Why oh, I didn't spend my skill points. Let me grab that and grab that. Let me upgrade my sentry as well. I should move my sentry. It's not getting any action. Okay, I'll search this. Pick up ammo clip. All right, I'll take it. Never mind, it is. There we go. See you later. See you later, alien. Uh, come on, let me grab my sentry. Thank you. Put it... Mm, here? Yep, that looks like a good spot for it. Yeah, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. Is the fence still on? Yes, it is. Perfecto. Alright. Come on, let me reload. Thank you very much. This LSAT is going to be so useful. This entire match. This entire nightfall. I mean, it'll put a lot more uh, damage into the boss. And it has a lot of ammo. Which is very, very nice. Because ammo is was definitely the big concern in that first playthrough. There we go. How is it going? How is it going? Get off my sentry. How rude. Um, I'm going to need to use some ammo. Only negative right here. Takes forever to reload. There we go. Hive is all done. There we go. And now it is time for the boss, but we have two skill points, so I'm going to put one into armor and one into health. Alright, so before I get into this boss battle, I'm going to make sure I reload all of my weapons and relocate my sentry. Uh, yeah, okay, let me go ahead and refill my ammo. There we go. I'm going to grab the drill. I'm going to bring it upstairs here. I can, actually, I'm going to leave it down here because it, it won't get damaged while we do this boss battle. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to grab my sentry. And I'm going to bring it into this little building over here. Okay, I did not mean to do that. But that's all right, it happens. Okay, I'm going to take my sentry. I'm pretty sure aliens will start spawning in again at some point soon, but that's okay. Oh, there she is. She spawned in. I just call it, and I call her a she for a very, very, very particular reason, because she is called a breeder. So she's basically the mama alien. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And she has a very, very deadly turret, which can demolish you if you're not careful. There we go. I need to just try and destroy these little, these gas cloud grenades. There we go. I need to destroy it. Perfect. Never mind. It doesn't make a difference. Get inside. Oh, get inside. This is tough. It's tough even on... Even on... Casual difficulty. Yes, big hits. Okay, get inside. Get off my turret. I think I can, can I still hit her while she's doing that? Oh crap, reload, reload, reload. Red dot sight? Yeah, that, that'll be useful. And I am currently stuck in this building unless I want to take some severe damage. I can hit her from here, luckily. 
I am using a lot of ammo to do that, though. Like, a lot, a lot. That's okay. Let's search this. So flam. Will that damage her, though? Let's see. No, I don't think it did anything. To be honest... Pardon me. Control that recoil. Get inside. She's got a dangerous little turret. I mean, how do you beat that in a minute and a half? I, I don't... I don't know. That must be super, super difficult. Nah, get off me. Get off me. Tiny little alien. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get damage a little bit. It's fine. I just want to get out of this area. There we go. There we go. She's just gonna shoot her turret. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some ammo, and then reload because I did not reload. Come on, go away. Go away. Okay, you, you know what, flare. Yeah, you, you, you go you you watch the flare. You leave me alone. Okay, get in cover. <laughs> that was definitely overkill for the slow flam, but you know what? Sometimes it's a never overkill. Oh crap, I'm gonna get damaged by the Seeker. It is so much easier to avoid those Seekers on point of contact. But I think point of contact, the goal of that map was kind of just to be like, hey, here's extinction. Let me know what you think of it, community. That's kind of what the first map was. Yes, we killed her. Thank goodness for that. Jeez, that is so tough.